Okay, so here we are in our next lesson in Microsoft Access. We're still looking at footers and we're going to look at the uh, calculations in footers in reports. So let's have a look and see what we can do. So if I go ahead and go, oh, I've got a new database, by the way, new database. This is the computer store. Let me show you computer store database. Here is the stock table and you can see it's all the different stock that we have in this computer store. It's been categorized. Every product has a description, what kind of packaging it's in, it's warranty, the pricing, the retail price the VAT and then the cost price okay and if it's in stock or not so kind of like a, a very nice little basic computer shop so let's go and create a report very quickly just so I, I can show you what we're going to be doing I'm going to choose the stock table okay and let's go with category we'll go with um, <laughs> the retail price cost price and if it's in stock or not okay so these are the these are the options that we have click on next and i'm going to group it now what's pretty weird about this database is like i wanted to group it according to category and it's already grouped <laughs> according to category so that's awesome i'm going to keep it like that if you've done this and opened it up and it didn't say category just pop category on the right hand side so we're going to group this according to category let's see what that does don't worry about sorting or anything like that take the default suggestion for the layout and let's just call it stock finish let's see what the report looks like there we go so as you can see my report has been grouped according to the category so here are all the cables here are all the card readers etc and then um, probably should have added the item description yeah probably should have done that you know what let's just make a lesson out of that super quick guys so here what we do is in the details section here are some fields and you know what, if i didn't get there just go to add existing fields there it is there add an existing field and i'm going to go to add the description there it is there add the description so i'm going to click over here drag it onto there i don't need this this first one just take that first one out of the way and let's just put that over there instead make it a little bit so it doesn't overlap there that looks pretty good let's see description great let's just run that quickly ah that's a bit better okay it's not pretty it's not pretty but it works all right okay back to where we were back to design view okay calculations and footers now at the moment we have the category header and if you remember from previous videos we right click sorting and grouping we add uh, the footer here it is here we say group blah 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 with the header section without with a footer section great thank you close you close that side panel there there is our footer so now it's time to do some calculations now this is revision guys the first part of this is just revision you should know this from grade 11 already so we have the text box and we have a label the text box is if we want to work something out the label is if we just want to type out some text so i'm going to choose the text box i'm going to click down here and i'm going to say uh, number of products number of products click on the big drag handle just to move it independently there we go and i'm just going to do a basic count function all right equals count open up our brackets asterisk which means everything or any number of characters and close my brackets so let's see what does that look like i'm switch back to my view let's go down to the end of this category okay number of products eight let's look at cables how many cables do i have in my database go down okay that's a lot of cables 17 cables in the database so far so good let's do whoop, back to design view let's do another calculation let's work out what the uh, let's create the average let's just work out the average amount of all the the uh, the stock in that category the average amount okay so back to my uh, report design back to my text box there it is there click over there and let's just drag this over so we have some space and let's say average cost price we'll do the average cost price move that across remember drag click on the big drag handle to move it independently 
Right, so the average cost price. So we're wanting to work out the average of which field? The cost price field. There it is there, cost price. So we've got equals AVG, because we, we remember in Microsoft Access, it's not uh, equals average like Excel, it's equals AVG. Open and close my brackets. So that's where I'm going to do my working out inside my brackets. Now I'm going to reference the field cost price. And remember, we use square brackets to type in the field names, cost price, capital C, capital P, no spaces. Voila. Let's see if that works. Shall we click and I go down to the bottom of my cables. Number of products is eight. Average cost price, 28 and nine. Obviously, you know, we want to format that. So if I just go here, format that, I can actually go to format over there and just change it to currency right away. You could also use your property sheet on the right hand side, same thing. But here it's just easier because you know it's format, there's currency, voila, easy peasy. So in the next activity, are we going to do some more calculation of footers, but slightly more complicated ones.